Easy E was an American rapper in the late 80s and early 90s and the leader of the group NWA. He is often referred to as the godfather of rap. He passed away in 1995 of AIDS after only being sick for a very short time. Many have questioned if he was injected with the virus as a way of taking him out. His son believes this, but could it really be true? This is a new thing, right? Yeah. See, if somebody gonna do something about it, see, right. technology is so high, right? Right. So if you sue somebody, you go to jail forever. So the kids, you don't wanna go to jail forever, right? Right. So they got this new thing out that people sell them all the time. They got this stuff to call, they get blood from somebody with AIDS, yeah. and then they shoot you with it. Oh, so well, that's that seems so bad. Happy, not yeah. slow death. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's an easy thing, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. It's an easy thing, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's an easy thing, you know what I mean? Yeah. 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 First of all, you gotta, you gotta even think of that tragedy. No girl has ever came forward saying that they got the AIDS virus from Easy or pain. Then I'm gonna tell you what happened with Easy getting AIDS, and I believe this to this day, and I don't care if you guys got it on film, you could tell the world. They, they, they gave him tainted needles with acupuncture needles that tainted him and gave it to him because he got, he got hurt in Honda Valley on quad runs, and he was driving quads, and, and, and what happened was is that, Someone, I don't want to say the name, but people know the name. I don't want to say that name because yeah, it's the devil's name. But, you know, another person in rap, if you know your history of rap, calls him a devil. So, if you know your history in rap or West Coast rap, you'll know who I'm saying. But I was told even in the last conversation from Easy not to even talk to that man. And not only that, but I think that they, they really had a stronghold of giving him painted needles with, with, with the AIDS virus in them through acupuncture because how 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 could somebody die that fast of AIDS? Have you even even heard of somebody dying in two weeks of AIDS, bro? Come on man. This is unheard of, bro. It was like I'm in the hospital, I contracted the AIDS virus. Two weeks later, of March twenty sixth or whatever, I fall out and I die. You know what I mean? It's not it's just not a it's it's the same Conspiracy to me in my eyes of, uh, of rap, if you really want to know, um, like uh, uh, Operation Need to Stop Rap or a, a dude that was just mimicking fuck the police. It seems like every person that's done a record about that or done that or raised up to the government has either, that's either been their demise, Tupac, another example, and then his demise happens. I find it very odd, suspicious, ironic that Ice Cube would name, I believe it was the very next album. I can't remember. I grew up in that age. I was in high school. I remember when the Ice Cube Lethal Injection came out. But are you telling me that's a pure coincidence? Is that a pure coincidence that people are spreading the narrative that Easy may have been injected with AIDS and Ice Cube comes out with an album called Lethal Injection? And everybody knows the comments that Suge, made, Suge Knight made I forget whose show that was, that night show many, many years ago, not too long after the death of Easy, when Suge Knight said, you know, or somebody, he said something, somebody give you AIDS or shoot you with AIDS or something, you know? And then I saw another documentary, somebody was talking to one of Easy es friends, and he said, Easy e used to get acupuncture. He said, Easy may have been getting injected with poisonous acupuncture needles. But whether you look at Ice Cube Lethal Injection, whether you look at the comment Suge Knight made on television during that late night show many years ago, or whether you listen to the comment from one of Easy es friends who says he was getting acupuncture and he believed the acupuncture needles may have been intentionally or unintentionally uh, contaminated with the AIDS virus, you almost have to come to the conclusion that he was given AIDS. The wife didn't have it, thank God. The baby didn't have it, thank God. According to Bone Thugs and other people, he was perfectly normal until he heard he had it. Perfectly normal. They said he was wrestling and running and chasing and smoking and fighting and having fun. So when he found out he got AIDS, the next thing you know, he went down in like a 30-day period or a two-week period, so they say. I know people who die from AIDS. I know people who die from AIDS. And they didn't die from AIDS or, or drop significantly in 30 days after finding out they had the AIDS virus.